Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we love pop culture. Today, we have ourselves a new comic book series to look at. Now, should you guys jump on a speeding bus and head on over to your comic book store to pick this one up? Or should the creators of this comic jump inside a phone booth, go back in time, and rethink their strategy? Well, let's get on with my review of Berserker, issue number one. This comic was created by Keanu Reeves and he also co-wrote issue number one here with Matt Kent. Now I'm sure I'm not the only one who sees some similarities between the main character who goes by the name Berserker and Keanu Reeves. Whether it's the illustrations in the book done by Ron Garney or the cover here done by Raphael Grandpa. Now while the Berserker might have some facial similarities to Keanu Reeves when it comes down to this character's personality though, he's kind of like a clawless wolverine when it's time to take care of business. However, when the Berserker is done doing jobs for the US government, he'll need a small team of doctors to put him back together again. Now the Berserker looks like a man that could be in his 40s, but during a conversation with a woman at a government facility, that's when it's revealed that he's actually much older as he tells this woman that he remembers the day of using whiskey as a painkiller and hacksaws to amputate gunshot wounds when the Revolutionary War started. So that means if this comic takes place in present day, which I do believe it does, and the Berserker was fighting at the beginning of the Revolutionary War, that would put him somewhere around 250 years old. However, with the help of some treatments and a magic pill, memories that the Berserker has been suppressing, he's now able to have the memories of not only remembering his father, but the day he was born. Now, while we don't have an exact date as to when the Berserker was born, we now at least have a ballpark figure, and that was some 80,000 years ago. The first issue in this series is light on the chit chat and heavy on the butt kicking. Whether he's jumping out of helicopters, taking a bullet to the chest, running through a tank, taking a plunge with a corrupted government official, or even walking into a fiery explosion. If there's a job that no one else can do, the Berserker seems to be the man to call. And the creators of this comic make no bones about it. The Berserker is meant to be portrayed as not just a tough guy, but absolutely ruthless. And over the pages of issue one, he comes off as one scary dude you definitely don't want on your bad side. Now on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the Berserker issue number 1 a 9 out of 10. While the writers here in issue number 1 do a great job of introducing us to this new character, the artwork here with the panels is absolutely outstanding. It's one of those books that when you're finished with your first read through, you can just go back and just look at these pages and it tells the entire story. Now with the Berserker being over 80,000 years old, he believes that he is immortal and after all the insanity we see him going through here in issue number one, he probably has the right to. But we all know everyone has some type of weakness and what will it be? Well, I'm definitely interested in checking out issue number two of the Berserker when it releases on March 31st. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap up my comic book review for The Berserker, issue number one. Now, did you guys read this issue? And if you did, what are your thoughts? Comment down below. And guys, if you like comic book reviews like this, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.